Hello everyone, this is Mumbo here, welcome back, and today we're going to be taking a look at something really quite awesome, and that is what I like to call the Gravity Launcher. Now this is a new type of TNT cannon that drops the TNT out of the bottom like some kind of hellish bomb, then fires it off into the distance, completely obliterating any targets in its path. I really like it, and I'm sure you're going to love it too, so let's take a closer look at it. If you come in a little bit closer, you can see the build itself isn't particularly big, but don't judge a book by its cover, this thing packs quite a punch. We have got 7 dispensers here, all of which fall to the brim with TNT, 6 of the TNT are for the launcher, and the 1 is for the payload piece. Now over here we have got a target, and as you can see it is a fairly ambitious distance away, and I will freely admit that the TNT doesn't quite hit the target every single time. So instead of having to re-record this clip a bunch of times, I thought I would put some footage on the screen right now of the TNT hitting the target and doing the damage. Really quite impressive, isn't it? So if you want to know how this all works, first things first, we have got these six dispensers here, which will dispense their TNT out and into the holding chamber. Then about 15 ticks later, this dispenser kicks in and it drops its TNT into the holding chamber. Then the holding chamber opens up, all of the TNT drops out, the stuff at the back will explode first, launching the single piece of TNT off into the distance and into your mate's latest build. Now my inspiration behind this was with the fighter jets, when they've got the rockets and they fall out of the bottom then they kick in and fly away. I thought that looked really cool and I decided to try and recreate it in Minecraft and I really am quite surprised that I managed to make it work. Of course if you do want to take a closer look at this, have a little bit of a play around with it or perhaps take a closer look at the redstone, then there will be a world download down in the description. Just chuck it into your Minecraft world saves folder and have a blast. But for those of you who want to build this thing, let's crack straight on with this tutorial. So you want to get things started with a 4x5 area, our TNT cannon is going to be firing in this direction and I guess this goes without saying, but build this higher than where your target is because otherwise you're not going to be hitting anything. But anyway you want to head down here, take out these two blocks and place sticky pistons facing across just like that, then take out all of these blocks and place blocks in like this. That's going to make up the bottom of your chamber. Then you want to place blocks going around like this. Dispensers facing inwards right there. You can place dispensers on top of dispensers by shift clicking in case you didn't know that. That's something that you should know because that will make life a lot easier for you. And then finally you want to place a block like this and a dispenser facing into the middle right there. Time to do all of the redstone bits. So first off you want to place a wooden button on the back of this dispenser and then two blocks on either side like this with redstone dust on top of all of those going right the way around there. Then you want to place a block here, redstone dust, a redstone torch there, and then a block down at the bottom with redstone dust on the side. That should be powering that dispenser now. Make sure that none of these have TNT in them, because otherwise you're going to end up with a pretty bad time. But anyway, you want to place a redstone torch on the side of this dispenser right here, and now we're going to be doing the timing circuit for your little release chamber. So you want to place a repeater, set it to four ticks running into a block, all of these rep repeaters are going to be set to 4 ticks, so that's just one thing to keep in mind. So you want to place blocks going across like this, a block down at the bottom, go right the way across here, a block up like that, and then a block down at the bottom. And we're going to be chucking in all of the repeaters now, so that is 4 ticks there, 4 ticks there, then head down here, place redstone dust, and then more repeaters, all of which sets of 4 ticks running into this block with redstone dust down at the bottom here. And you should see that both of those pistons will extend, so let's head inside and take a look. Now all we have to do is fill in all of the blocks so that your TNT can't escape. So that is blocks there and then blocks going up like this and that is pretty much everything done. Now of course you do need to fill in all of your TNT into all of the dispensers but now I guess it is time to give it a quick test. So we've got the TNT there, the TNT there and it will be fired across all the way over there. I didn't even see that, that's how fast that was but it got shot off into the distance so that is all working fine. But anyway ladies and gentlemen that is all I've got time for today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did please be sure to hit that like button. If you really loved it then make sure to subscribe but thanks for watching guys. This has been Mumbo and I'm out. I'll see you later.